So what we've done so far is downloaded our jQuery.corners.js. We also need to make sure that we have our actual jQuery library loaded as well into our HTML document. And now we're ready to actually uh, initialize the script and pass some kind of value to it. So to start this, we're going to do something similar to what we have up here. Script type equals JavaScript. So I'm just going to copy and paste this right here. And now I'm going to look over at the code at the actually the plug the JavaScript corner plugins uh, homepage over here at malzup.com forward slash jQuery forward slash corners and look at how we initialize or what code we want to pass into this thing to get this thing to run. So it looks like it's not too clear, but if we look at what, what, they're, what they're saying over here, um, you could actually put this corner in. Here's the dollar sign in this corner. This would be the beveled effect, but actually we don't even want that for right now. We're going to just do the, the most uh, no frills call they have. So dollar sign, and then in, in parentheses over here, we have this dot corner parentheses semicolon. Let's copy that. And this, what this refers to is, and then we have to uh, close this script with, Let's see, we have that, and I guess oh, I guess it's all closed. We just we'll close it right here with our forward slash script. So it's gonna look something similar to to this over here. Let me show you my code. Now the one value we're gonna have to change here is is this right here in the middle over here this part this part that's a <laughs> um, anyway we're gonna have to change this to actually be some type of uh, either class or ID that we're gonna apply right because we're gonna round corners but corners to what so let's start by we're gonna make up a class right now for what it should be and we'll do we're gonna just highlight the this we'll do single quote and why don't we go dot rounded let's say that and then another single quote so again this is what it should look like at this point we're gonna have a class called dot rounded okay so now once we save this then I am going to give let's give my header over here the div ID equals header why don't we give it a class and the class is going to be rounded. It's not going to pop up over here in, in uh, the Dreamweaver in the drop down menu just because it's not in our CSS, but it will work. So let's see. He this is the header, and we gave it a class of rounded. So now that means that this top header over here should be rounded. Dun dun da. It worked. You see that? pretty simple all we did is download it we have some options and some different effects we could do but this is the standard standard way uh, I mean this is the most basic way to use this plugin so just a quick recap what I did first step was for one I need to make sure I have the requirements the requirement is have the jQuery library installed and have it attached second part is I had to get the jQuery.corner plugin that actually does that cornering effect I got that the third thing is I needed to set up my initialization for it and I did it with this code over here I started with the script type and I made sure JavaScript uh, text forward slash JavaScript then I passed its first call which is this first one over here dollar sign then within single quotes I put the class or ID that I was going to target for it, right? Because now all we did at this point with the, the first with the first jQuery library and jQuery corner, all we did is attach them, kind of attach them to our page. We haven't actually targeted anything yet. This line over here is saying what we're looking to round, what corners we're looking to round. And after I did that, I added that class that I set up up here that's actually not in my CSS it's just in this jQuery statement to my header I put div ID 
right here equals header and the class equals rounded now just so we're clear anything I I add the class rounded to from here on end is going to get rounded so I have rounded to the header if I if I give let's give my uh, left and right column just for demonstration purposes we'll give them the same class it has a class of column right but at the same time we could also just put down if you, we, we want to add more classes to a single one we could just add a space and go rounded you see what I did I have multiple classes so I'm gonna do that now to I have that to my left and let's do it to the right as well the effect should be oh cool look at that rounded corners everywhere we got we got rounded corners let's see in Internet Explorer looking good see that we they're all rounded 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 and rounded corners here looking good and of course last but certainly not least we have our Firefox and let's make sure Firefox is getting them cool look at that really easy way to get rounded corners with jQuery uh, corner rounding plugin